Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to the start of my playthrough of the heavily Resident Evil inspired Daymare 1998. So heavily Resident Evil inspired that it was originally started as a fan project to remake Resident Evil 2 as a third person shooter. And for obvious reasons, Capcom ended up cease and desisting them, but in a much gentler way, since they apparently just kind of encouraged them to alter it into their own, you know, their own game with no Resident Evil attachment. And thus we have Daymare, a zombie game that is not Resident Evil, but is very heavily Resident Evil-like. Now, I already took a look at this in a first impressions video when I ended up getting an early key for the kind of press beta, but I only played through the first area in that beta before I stopped because there was more to it. I think it was most of the game, but I stopped there because I wanted to wait for this playthrough. So let's get in here. Overwrite my previous save. All right, so we got our little checklist here. We're gonna do beginner mode, even though it's pretty much just normal mode from what I can tell. It's kind of weird to have either like daymare or beginner, but yeah. With the aim assist turned off, beginner is basically just the normal mode without hardcore difficulty. Because for video purposes, I don't want to have to repeat big sections just because something kills me in one hit. Though it does kind of remind me of the Resident Evil 3 difficulty, where it was like easy or hard, and easy was like infinite ammo. And then the brightness is good. And I'm going to turn on HUD ammo just, again, for convenience of recording. So I don't have to keep popping up the menu to go, how many bullets do I have? And then that's all. Alright, so yeah, it seems like this starts in the same place as the other build. Several hours have gone by since communications with Aegis Laboratory have been cut off. Now, two teams of highly trained Hades, Hexacore Advanced Division for Extraction and Search. Operatives are called out to investigate. Their mission, find the missing researchers who seemingly vanished without a trace, and retrieve sensitive, highly classified materials for a clandestine branch of the U.S. government. Tasked with gaining access to the lower levels of the lab, Special Agent Leave barges into the Second Service entrance, and it is there that he discovers the security system has initiated a facility-wide quarantine, automatically shutting everyone in and serving as a warning to would-be invaders that some kind of experiment has gone horribly, horribly wrong. So I wasn't clear on this when I played this before, but... So we work for Hexacore, which is, you know, like an... Obviously an Umbrella Corps stand-in, to the point where they're named after the Umbrella logo having six sides. But we're working for the US government right now, to retrieve something from a laboratory who, I guess, is a contractor for the U.S. government and not a Hexacore lab. All that matters on okay, this the is new. Board are good moves and the actions you take to achieve this. This cutscene wasn't in the, the beta. What I do is bide in the shadows, where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. This time, I had to involve my hand directly. But let's get things in the right order. So I began the first phase of my plan. All right, so I guess we're going to hear more from Cleaner scheming. All right, this is the cutscene we started with in the previous video. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Pole Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires this be a terrible mishap. I, <laughs> I still love that she calls it a mishap. Yes, a corrosive agent that latches onto the lungs, warping people outside. Can anyone hear me? Don't <laughs> Though it's weird that if she's a researcher there at the bioweapons lab, she doesn't know what it is. Chapter 1, Signal Lost. That transmission was the last communication out of Aegis' laboratory 12 hours ago. 
the latest news parameters are courtesy of our friends over at the DOD. It seems the corrosion agent in question is actually the same experimental gas. All right, so we're off the coast of Washington State here. Even he calls it a mishap. Leave back here looking very indifferent. This won't be the simple snatch and grab you were initially led to believe. Good luck, gentlemen. Now get in there to show us what you're made of. The hell is truly the house of Hades. HQ out. Priority red. You do understand that this assignment could be our last. Well, you know. If I were a betting man, I think I'd bet that the odds of uh making it home in one piece are uh a lot better with you on the battlefield. But that's if, you know, Gomer Pyle doesn't put us down first. Leave really doesn't like pilots for some reason. I'm gonna say this outright, I don't like Leave. He's annoying. But he's not the only player character in this, thankfully. Never should have pulled his ass out that fire back in room in 94. Thanks, Hayden. Understood, Major. Get it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should just let the past go. Romero Fort Gulf, this is HQ. We hold you on gadget and show you entering the airspace above the island. You should be within visual range of Aegis at any moment. Over. HQ, this is Sandman Action. In descent for November Foxtrot, India. Standing by for a mission goal. Sandman Action, this is HQ. You are a mission goal. Now let's get out there and kill something. This is the second blast one. And the end of the line for you, lead. Green will infiltrate the laboratory via the third blast one. After that, Raven and I will hold position at the external loading bay. And we'll need an alert five to pick you rubber suckers up upon completion. Rubber suckers? Is that like a derogatory slang because they wear gas masks all the time? Any yeah, fucking rubber suckers. Can't just breathe air like the rest of us. Alright, so third person over the shoulder. A bit slower than like Resident Evil 2 Remake. Remotely overriding the service access to Aegis Station. As explained during the brief, the data interchange device is still being tested for field use. Nevertheless, it will become your most important resource, allowing you to manage weapons, consumables, consult maps, help. All right, so we got a tab for items, we've got a tab for our health and status effects, a tab for the map, and we've got a tab for files. State, and above all, allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. However, it is a real-time inventory, meaning if we pull this up, we're going to get attacked if there's enemies around. Which is partly why they have such an obtuse ammo system for the weapons. I think it's kind of unnecessary, since you essentially have to manually refill magazines. You have to reload without dropping your magazine, otherwise you have to go pick it up again. Also, they say how locked down it is, but then we just walk up and boop! Error. Lockdown failed. So I'm hoping that this laboratory section will go much quicker than it did in the first impressions video, because I got stuck for different reasons on three different puzzles for entirely too long. The first one, it was just because I was making a mistake on one of the, the items on a list. The second one was because I didn't actually know what I was supposed to be doing for the puzzle, and I missed a very obvious thing that tells you what you need to do. And then the third one was just that I was overthinking it. Sandman to Asian leave. Judging from the fragments of video we 
pull from surveillance. It appears that several tanks labeled CSR-3 have already been attached to the main hoisting unit. I'll say I'll stand by at the main doors to the freight elevator. Over. Leader here. Right. Yeah. Copy that. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion leaked out from a couple tanks crammed into the area. There are also sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over. So very conveniently, the bioweapon is just sitting here, right underneath the helicopter door, almost like they were ready to unload it onto someone. Also, I will say that despite being a game by an indie studio with only like 10 people, and being in the dreaded Unreal Engine, I think this game looks pretty good for the most part. The only real strong exception is the character faces, which are a little too smushy. But like, Liev looks fine when he's in his helmet. Some hollow point, which I think just do more damage. But they have to be separately loaded into a magazine. Does it actually say what these do? No. I just assume they're better, because they're hollow points, and would be fairly effective against zombies, you would think? Better for destroying the brain? I just took damage from the fire, didn't I? I took 2% damage. So watch out for that. It's a good thing there aren't any zombies here yet. No, I'm pretty sure this guy is not getting back up. It's about time you guys got here. You're with emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as survivors? I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. You need me to bring you some hemostatic medicine. Anyway, I'll be waiting here. I just need a... Rest my eyes a little. Here, let me give you something to help you sleep easier. Also, he says it was his leg, but look at- where's all that blood on his back coming from? No witnesses. So, this makes more sense to me now that I know this is not, like, a hexacore laboratory, because these are just, you know, whatever government contractor this is we're killing. So it makes sense that we don't want any witnesses and not just, like, Hey, we're going to kill all of our scientists and security personnel. Alright, so... To reload, you have to put a magazine into a quick slot. Then you have to either press R, in which case you'll drop the magazine and have to pick it back up, which is not going to be very good, because that magazine will be gone forever if you do that and don't pick it up. Or you hold R, and then it will swap the two and put the other one in your inventory so you can reload it with a... box. So yeah, it's an kind of needlessly obtuse system, but I guess it is meant to make more tension, since you have to, like, pull up this whole menu when you're low on ammo, and try to swap it, which you can't really do without getting attacked. I'll get used to it, though. Leaf to Mission Control, Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. This all brings back memories from 94. Especially that day, when you opened fire on all those poor, innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major. And those innocent people weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. Proceeding to objective. Over. I'm curious what he meant by what's left of them. Like, were they all... Dying, or were they zombies of some kind? <laughs> oh, also, there's a sprint. I don't think there was a sprint in the previous version, so or it just never tells you. Fun down here. 
Somebody must really like flaying skeletons. Alright. So I'm going to read all the documents again in case, you know, people didn't watch the video. Admiral's Diary. Translated from Japanese. 8th August, 1945. Honor. A word the Allied forces will never understand. Thousands of innocent souls in seconds destroyed by the U.S. atomic bomb. Not those of soldiers. Not those of men who made a choice to fight and sacrifice themselves in service of our great nation. But those of Pacific civilians who lived in those cities now totally cancelled. You know, never mind the fact that Japan had no problem killing civilians and using them for their experiments, but... That's neither here nor there. Women and children. Our families are gone, obliterated by their desire for dominance. By their desire to show the world the strength of their science, the atomic bomb. But now, the time has come to show them the strength of our science. It took years of hardship to develop terrible weapons. But the worst we could imagine arrived simply by chance. We had chosen to keep the Scourge, our worst discovery, a secret because it was too inhuman even for Unit 74. Where men were granted the luxury of releasing the darkness of their spirits. Did they change that? Because I'm pretty sure it was Unit 80-something before, which was the actual... What was it? 871 was the actual uh, bioweapons division that experimented on Chinese civilians? A weapon too inhuman even for war, but not too inhuman for those Western people who lost all traces of honor with the push of a button. The men of this crew, the fathers and sons now deprived of their loved ones, have renamed it Shujin, the Condemnation. The world, literary works, and histories will remember the people behind the atomic bomb as villainous and blatant, a mass genocide that will tarnish their conscience forever. But this is not enough, not for us, not for the families that canceled, they canceled in one second. Perseverance is better than defeat. Despite the fact that, really, America doesn't seem to hold any guilt for being the only country in the world to use nuclear bombs on another country, they seem quite okay with that. The new emperor ordered that Shujin be spread over the enemy, a divine, noiseless wind, but extremely lethal. Our condemnation will tear their hearts out and lead them on a path to the same suffering we are experiencing. Also, is this submarine, like, entirely staffed by people related to people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Because that's what he made it sound like. We departed from Tokyo a few hours ago and expect a long journey to the American coast where the plague will be unleashed and a story out of their science fiction novels will run its course. At this very moment, a second I-400 of the glorious Japanese Imperial Navy should be leaving Osaka, ready to deliver the second and last reserve of the plague to a top-secret location in Germany. I don't remember that being in this note before, but I wonder if that's going to come up again. Unit 74 no longer exists, swept away by a 20 kiloton blast, but its creation is more alive than ever, and it could still shift the balance of power in the world in our favor. We must do everything we can and leave the rest to fate. Admiral Shinji Mikami. The rest is illegible. That kind of reminds me, their plan at least, reminds me of that. There was one game that I took a first impressions look at that was like a post-World War II thing where World War II ended with a zombie bioweapon being dropped on the U.S., It had, like, Remains or something like that in the name. What's that squeaky sound? Is that a rat? Sounds like a squeaky toy. It's, like, coming from over here. I don't see anything. And here's a healing syringe, which has to be in your quick slot as well. Um, there's also an overdose meter, but from what I remember, the healing items don't increase it that much, so I think that's only for like the buff syringes that will increase that by a lot. Where is the squeaking coming from? I think it's coming from the elevator. I feel like that's probably something, right? It wouldn't be so loud and constant. Is it like a collectible? Oh well. Figure it out later. 
energy bar. And we can pop this up. So I guess if I didn't turn on HUD ammo, it just means I would have to open this to check my ammo, so not too much of a difference. Alright, here's our first puzzle. Looks like a bank transaction made out to Jay Phelps for one million dollars. I guess he didn't really get to enjoy it. Okay, some more ammo. Doing pretty good on ammo, though. Of course, we haven't had to fire it, so of course we're doing pretty good. Alright, so this was the puzzle where I made a mistake in reading, and I kept repeating the mistake because I didn't really understand why it wasn't working. Note to trainee. I read your file, Kevin, and your resume is quite impressive. Despite your age, it seems you've already installed and maintained your share of sophisticated equipment that most techs here don't even know exist. Now, I'm not trying to scare you, but I want you to know exactly what you're getting into. I heard you asked a co-worker what kind of research is being conducted here. If I had to hazard a guess, it must involve the UFO they found off the coast of this island. These scientists are clearly seeking ways to permanently alter the human genome to create superhuman alien hybrids. Joking, obviously. But this is a top secret government facility and the suits won't hesitate to lock you up and throw away the key if you give them a reason to. Places like this naturally employ state-of-the-art computer systems and machinery that go well beyond the scope of most technicians. Luckily for you, the thermoelectric generators, although extremely powerful, are simple to use via an interface. The only real hurdle you will come across is the odd time when a power outage occurs. In this situation, all you need to do is find a PC to check which area is shorted out, as indicated by a flashing red dot. Unfortunately, the repair process isn't automatic, so you'll have to restore power manually using the control panel to bypass the areas marked picked in red, which will turn green if you were successful. Just follow the instructions on screen and I'm sure there won't be any problems, but if you run into something serious, give me a call and I'll send someone down to help you. Don't forget that loose lips sink ships. Welcome aboard and good luck. Mick O'Hagan, Chief Maintenance Officer. So yeah, basically all we have to do... Oh, also we got another magazine for our G22. So let's uh, load that up. So now we have two mags, so we can do two quick reloads. But yeah, all we have to do is look at this. You can see there are four areas that are offline right now, so all we have to do is switch all the switches on for the green areas to bypass the red ones. And I mixed up one of these two before, so I was trying to turn on one of the reddit out ones. Alright, so RH, SR, SR, SS. Okay, so... RH, SR, S R S S and then C A and C R I think it's C A and C R cargo area and control room hmm Okay, there are four reddit out, so I forgot. Lab area. That went way faster than last time. And now we've got our first hungry corpse. Hey, buddy. What the hell are these things? What the hell are these things? They look like people, but they're not people. And since we don't need to be here, we're just gonna get out of here and not waste ammunition. Excuse me. <laughs> Squeaking intensifies. Alright, so now the helicopter is in position. Up. Head back to the cargo bay and activate 
activate the freight elevator from there. Over. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. That's different. <laughs> One ugly motherfucker. I guess to make up for the fact that they don't bite you when they grab you, they listen to people's complaints about that's how that's kind of weird, and added that really goofy looking puking that just happens. I think it was actually better if they just shake you, honestly. <laughs> There's something down below. It looks like a huge submarine with markings that resemble biohazard symbols and... Could the flag really be Japanese? Focus on the mission, Agent. I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk those pasteurizing big shots call us in to mop up. Time is running out. Get your ass on the objective. Over. <laughs> That's such a goofy fucking confusing statement, but if we break it down here, it actually does kind of make sense, the structure of it. Because if you hear it at first, I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk that these pasteurizing bastards sent us to clean up. It just sounds like a bunch of nonsense, but we break it down into elements here. So, the titter-ridden cow is this Japanese submarine, which is curdling the milk that is the Aegis facility, and the pasteurizing bastards are the government who sent us in here. So, he doesn't care what's kind of fucking up the situation, just do the job. Also, it's kind of weird to me that I guess they drug this submarine up from the bottom of the ocean where it sank and brought the whole thing in here instead of just, you know, taking the bioweapon out of it. Also, obviously, the Japanese submarine did not make it all the way across the ocean. Alright. Again, let's try not to... Oh, I can't fit through there. I guess I am going to have to waste ammo. You ugly sack of shit! Oh shit, I did a quick reload. I was holding R down, but he really wanted to just do a quick one. Alright. So I think those two are going to get back up, but again, we don't need to stick around. We can just complete our objective and get out of here. The F to mission control. Elvis has left the building. Understood. We'll take it from here, Agent. If the weather gets any worse, we might experience calm interference. Proceed to your next objective. Emergency channel open. Over. All right, so now we've delivered the gas weapon, but we still have to get the other one. So I guess it's time for us to make like a Hades agent and leave. It just looks so goofy the way it just... Like, they don't even intentionally do it, it just starts leaking out on its own. Okay. I'm not gonna waste ammo on all three of these guys, I'm just gonna... See if I can lure them out. Oh, that guy just went down in one shot. Let's get through the door before he gets back up. Alright, how's my status doing? Wait till I actually get in here? 50%, not great. Alright. Let's pop our syringe. And you can see it's not an instant heal, it has to regenerate. But that barely put our overdose meter up and you can already see it's going back down. So I'm guessing some of the more powerful healing items, in addition to the buffs, will push that up quite a bit more. Okay. So I don't remember if it actually told you this originally, or if I just missed this when I was doing the first impressions. But this is the one we need to get the sample from. And, oh, hello. I don't know if headshots are actually more effective here. It seems like sometimes they'll go down just as easily with body shots. Alright, chamber temperature is zero degrees. There is a temperature anomaly. So the confusing thing here is I think this is actually what the te chamber temperature is supposed to be and not what it currently is. 
So when it says temperature anomaly, that means we have to get it to this to actually open it. You can see this one's supposed to be five degrees. Energy drink. I'm not sure what these are. I think if we actually if I actually go to that website, I can, you know, put in the code and I don't know, get some lore or something. I'll find out. If there's maybe some lore, I'll just screenshot it. Alright. So you can also combine items, and there is the rapid use fluid, which is pretty much just the uh, general purpose fluid from Resident Evil 7 that you can use to make other things into proper items, but doesn't do anything by itself. And if I mix two of them, I'll get a concentrated fluid, which makes more powerful items. We also got the hacking system here. So it's kind of weird because you pick up these cables and you can't hack without them. If you fail to hack, it destroys the cable somehow. But if you don't fail to hack, then it doesn't use the cable up. And you can reuse it. So having multiples of these is only if you're not doing good at the hacking minigame. Which comes in different difficulties. Alright, so start the hacking process. Yes. And basically we just have to push it when these things pass over the dark box. But once you do one, you only have a certain amount of time to do the second one. So, ba ba. Thankfully, Q and F, I can, you know, keep a finger on each of them at the same time. And I'm guessing that these hack doors will only ever be loot. Because it would suck if there's, you know, something you need in here and you lose your cable. And just another one of those. This console was used to observe ongoings in the laboratory. I feel like goings on would make more sense there than ongoings. Are you mental, fluid? Okay. Let's take a quick look at my inventory here. Um should probably top up magazines. So this was the part where it's tedious, because, you know, I just have to sit here, I have to reload, then I have to put ammo in. And if I combine this very tasty energy drink with the fluid, I can make it into a proper healing shot. The RU Mental Fluid is enhancing the powers of perception. So yeah, I think what that does is the same thing as the item in Resident Evil 7 that just shows you where all the items are including through walls. You know, you'll see the little pickup icon on everything. But I'm not 100% on that. Oh. I was confused because I heard his footprints coming from behind me, or his footsteps. So I'm like, oh, I better turn around before I open this door. Note to Supervisor. Subject, Maintenance and Renewal, Renewal is spelled wrong, of Containment Rooms. Dear Dr. Everett, By now you're probably sick of my many appeals, but I really must insist that the maintenance system for controlling temperatures in the containment rooms be remedied immediately. The system is supposed to automatically turn on once the air reaches a specified temperature. Instead, I am forced to send one of my people to adjust it at the terminal outside the room, which regulates the level of nitrogen via spectrum every six hours by hand. By hand! To avoid further inconveniences and to fulfill your managerial responsibility to mend the system, please, please send another technician to fix the damn machine. I sincerely appreciate the assistance. Dr. Jeremy Falk, lead researcher of BL1, Aegis Labs, North Blue 2 facility. Also, people in game here... Oh no, I'm, I'm auto-walking for some reason. There we go. People in game for some reason all say Aegis, but 
I'm fairly certain the correct, correct pronunciation would be Aegis, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, we have another note here. Uh, yeah, this one is the one that's eight pages, so let's just uh, keep that to the side for now. And a magazine for our MP5. Alright, so we need to grab Pollux first. Huh. Probably has to do with the chamber's cooling system. He really does sound like he's doing a David Hayter impression, the voice actor for Leave. Alright, single nitrogen stack use activated. So, we want to get chamber 4 down to 0 degrees, is I think the thing here. And this is the other puzzle that took me a long time, because I didn't actually know what room I needed to adjust to what temperature. I think we also have to... change these? Because there's one of them that's leaking. I don't know if that affects it. Right. I don't know why that was solution. Also, I like that the blood decal moved with the door. <laughs> so it's just floating. Okay, so my health is 80%. Let's, uh... Let's eat our little snack bar here. This chocolate and chili pepper flavored snack. That'll regen me up to full. And we got this nasty boy. I don't know if this is just someone who's been infected for a while, but uh, he is tough. I'm gonna need a fuller gun. A fuller gun. This gun is not full. Holding the reload. There we go. I feel like I heard another zombie as well. Well. He's a little tougher than I remember. Maybe let's give him a little bit of the big stuff. Four bullets is all it took. Do I have any ammo for this? No, I only have G22 ammo. I think the hollow point just does more damage than the regular ammo, but I'm not sure. See, I can't reload this. So. Oh, I think all my magazines are empty. Oh, no. I just have to... That's an annoying thing, too. If you reload and you have an empty magazine, it doesn't switch which one is selected in your quick select. Alright, so that wasn't too tough. I guess you can't even really call that a mini-boss. Just kind of a stronger enemy. Oops. Let me just drop all of my pistol ammo. I don't need that. I make my own difficulty. to mission control. PLX-731 sample secured. En route to second helipad for extraction. Do you copy? Good job, Agent. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. The objective of this operation has been updated. Agent Krychek and Wes have disappeared, and until they've been found, we can't allow you to leave the building. Your new objective is to complete the mission of the Epsilon team and download all the research data on your DID. Glaze confirm status update. Over. New objective confirmed. On my way. Over. Sure. I'm just a war dog, after all. Nobody cares about war dogs. He 
He may be a hardened mercenary, but he's still not going to go into the women's locker room. Oh, that was a lucky snapshot. Alright, stamina flute. Locked. I don't remember if you ever found a key for this. I don't know why I thought that might work. Um, there's a question. How do I get out of this room? It says that this door should open. Oh, okay. Can anyone hear me? This is Agent Crane, an unidentified subject. Hostile. Protective hazmat clothing. He just shot at me. I think I heard him. Proceed with extreme caution. It is armed and deep. Crane, can you hear me? Crane! Getting shot at by scientists. That's not part of the mission briefing. I mean, presumably somebody had to release this bioweapon, right? One of the scientists here as a cover-up for his own breakout. Which is, you know, sort of still a, a Birkin situation. But in reverse. Because, I mean, the, the Umbrella... Or, sorry, the Wrecking City breakout only happened because Umbrella killed Birkin. But not very well. You know, special operatives didn't bother to finish him off. Alright, well, I think we're going to end it here, just to keep it kind of short and not, you know, big one hour long video already. But, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. Leave is not a great protagonist, and he only gets worse from what I saw after <laughs> this section, but... The actual gameplay I've been enjoying so far, and kind of the, the setup they're going for. So, I hope you'll join me as we continue to make our way through the Aegis Laboratory and find out what happened to Epsilon Team before we make our extraction and get out of this place. Until then, take care everyone.